welcome from Hike Vision. I'm Matt Rose, part of the vertical pre-sales team here at Hike Vision. Today, we're looking at our video intercom system and how to add a sub-door station to the main door station using our management software, IVMS 4200. So today, we're looking at what you need to do in a situation where you have multiple entrance doors and you need to connect a sub-outdoor station to the main door station, all managed by IVMS software. We'll be using the DS-KH8350-WTE1 main indoor station, the DS-KD8003-IME1 main outdoor station, the DS-KD8003-IME2 sub-outdoor station, and the latest IVMS 4200 management software. I'm going to put the version numbers and the IP addresses on the screen for you now. If you would like to download the latest firmware and software versions from the UK portal, please visit hikevisioneurope.com forward slash UK forward slash portal. So, how do we set it up? Let's look at how we go about adding the sub-door station to the main door station. First, we'll connect an indoor station to the main station and then we'll add the sub-door station to the system. All right then, so we've got our kit. How do we go about setting all of this up? Well, the first thing we need to do is activate our devices and modify their IP addresses on SADP. So next up, we're going to add those devices onto our IVMS 4200 management software. Now, in order to remotely configure the indoor station, we need to go to Network, Group Network Settings. Once we're there, we input the door station IP address and set the registration password. It's usually best to set the registration password to be the same as the device password. After that, we input the master station IP address and SIP server IP address with the main station IP address. And don't forget to save. Now we remotely configure the main station. To do that, we go to Intercom Session Settings. What we're doing here is setting up the registration password and video intercom server IP. This IP address is the main station IP address, so that's the one we're going to input here. Now we go back to intercom session settings to remotely configure the main station. Here we set up the registration password and input the main station IP address and video intercom server IP address with the main station IP address. And once we've done that, don't forget to save. Alright, the next step is to go to schedule video intercom on our door station. Then we need to set up a call schedule to call the main station. After that's done, we need to go to intercom, press button settings and select the schedule to call the main station. Now we 
it's important now that we delete the devices from the IBM S4200 management software, because if we don't, the device will call IBM S4200 instead of the main station, and that's not what we want to happen. Lastly, we need to go to the indoor station, local menu settings, preferences, shortcut settings, where we will enable the call management center. That is the system connected and ready to operate. Let's have a look at it in action. Well, I hope you found this brief setup video useful. Don't forget to visit our website as shown below at hikevision.com forward slash UK. If you want more information, including additional demo videos, search Hike Vision UK Technical Support on YouTube and you'll find an ever-expanding library of short guides to choose from. Bye for now.